and welcome back to my channel so this is my first video of 2020 happy new year to everyone out there who's watching my video and yeah, I know I've not been doing too much videos last year but this year I'll try to do lots of videos I just do these videos uh, just to help other people out there who know uh, very little about makeup I'm not here to tell you guys what like you have to do this and you have you don't have to do that i'm not here to do that so if you enjoy watching my videos then please subscribe to my channel and i'll see you guys in my next video so in today's video i'll be doing a very mauve eye look and i haven't been wearing makeup uh too much um lately and um, yeah so I've been doing just very light makeup so today I just wanted to just come out here and play with all the makeups I have um, I haven't bought anything new except for some eyebrow products and uh, some new foundations uh, which are old ones but I just got in different colors and um, yeah so for the eyes I'll be using just a normal concealer just to prime my eyes and I'm using one of the synthetic brushes from Morphe okay so now I'm going to set my Concealer with um, powder. I'm just gonna use my fingers for that. And for today's palette, I'll be using the Huda Beauty Nude palette. I haven't played around with this palette like too much. I think I only used it twice um, or three times only. So, yeah, so I just wanted to use some of these mauve colors right here. And um, I'm just going to do a very easy tutorial to you, anyone out there who can do this um, very easily. So I'm going to take the shade Tickle and I'm going to press this, press this on my eyelid. Okay, so I'm going to take a small blending brush and I'm going to take the shade Tease right here and I'm going to blend this in my outer corner. Next, I'm going to take the shade spanked right here it's like a darker version of mauve color and i'm going to press just on the outer corners of my eyes and i'm just building it up and making it a little darker next i'm going to take the shade love white which is very dark i think there's a darker shade in here and I'm going to place it with a very tiny um, flat brush and I'm going to place it on my outer corner just right here okay next I'm going to take a very big blending brush and I'm going to take the shade um, secret which is right here and I'm just going to blend everything up here so don't I, I so I don't have any harsh edges okay I'm going to make my inner corners a little bit 
more um, like bright so I'm going to take the shade bare here right just right here Okay, now I'm just going to take an eyeliner and I'm going to uh, make a sharp wing eyeliner and I'm taking this Fenty Beauty eyeliner to make my eyeliner so Okay, so the only reason I do my eyeliner before I do my foundation is so I can fix anything that is messed up. Like as you can see, it doesn't look really good right now. But I'm going to fix it up with my foundation and some concealer just to make it a little more winged. So now I'm going to do the rest of my face and I'm going to come back to the eye later on. And for the face, I'm going to use, I'm going to use this Milk Hydro Grip Primer. And I'm just going to now I'm going to as you can see I have a few of my um, black spots right here so I'm just going to take a darker concealer shade and just going to press onto it I'm also going to go on these lines. Okay. It's like I have a mustard. Okay. So the only reason I'm doing this is because I have a little bit of dark spots right here. And whenever I do uh, just foundation directly on my face, it kind of uh, shows a little bit uh, from under my foundation. I'm going to use a Huda Beauty Loose Powder to set that so I'm doing this step before my foundation but after my primer if we have really dark spots this is gonna really help you and you can see when I'll apply my foundation it's gonna look really really flawless so so the next thing I'm going to do is use a Dior foundation and I'm going to take a little bit of um, Bond This Way foundation as well and I'm going to mix them together. I've been really liking these two combination lately and it's really awesome. So. I'm just gonna dab it on my face. And then I'm going to take a big uh, beauty sponge and I'm going to just place it onto the foundation and just go straight onto my face. Can you guys see that? Like, it is totally disappeared. I'm going to use this Born This Way Concealer and I'm just going to just use a little bit because I don't like concealers that much. Okay, and I'm going to blend it out. Okay, now it's time to fix that 
eyeliner. I'm just going to take an angle brush and some concealer. I'm just going to do this. Can you see that cut? Just going to drag it down. I'm going to blend it later. Do the same for this side. Okay, now I'm going to set under my eyes. And I'm just going to take a little bit of Huda Beauty baking powder. And I'm going to take a little bit of Charlotte Tilbury uh, airbrush powder. And I'm just going to dab my beauty blender and just blend a little bit. Next, we're going to contour our face and I'm using this Dior Backstage Contour Palette. And I'm going to take a very small contouring brush, something like this. And I'm going to go into my jaw lines. Now for blush, I'm using this Morphe palette, it's a blush palette, and it looks like this. I'm going to take the shade Gold, and I'm going to take a little bit of this shade right here. It has a weird name, so I really can't tell, but if you have this palette, then it's the shade right next to that, like this too. And I'm going to take a very fluffy blush brush and I'm going to dab it together and then tap off the axis and I'm going to just place it on my cheeks just like that. I'm going to use this Huda Beauty uh, palette and this is their winter highlighter palette for my highlighter and I was going for something like this. It's the winter rose and I don't know if I've used this highlighter before so I'm going to dab it with a very fluffy brush and I'm just gonna go from my cheeks to the cheekbones brush my eyebrows and then I'm going to um, take a little bit take a little mirror and I'm just going to line my eyebrows I'm just going to make a straight line just like this just one straight line up here and I'm going to start the other line from here and then curved from the end just right here yeah. now I'm going to fill them in I'm going to use the goof bro goof proof bro gel sorry goof proof bro pencil oh my god that was a mouthful I couldn't even say that but anyways it looks something like that and I'm just going to fill them in and when I'm coming towards my inner part then I'm just going to do it very very lightly and uh, I just have to apply lashes and then do our under eyes so the lashes I'm going to use today is by Velour Lashes and this is the mink lashes in the style it's so fluffy there's so many eyelashes out there now that I don't see anyone using this kind of lashes anymore. But I have them and I bought lots of them during the IMAT. So I just, 
I just like to just use them since I have them so yeah and I also like the styles of these lashes anyways so yeah I'm just going to place this uh, our, no, it's not our glass. this is house of lashes glue onto the lashes And that's one I done. And I'm going to move on to my lower lash line. And I'm going to use the small, very small belling brush, something like that. And I'm going to take the shade uh, Love Bite and then place it on the outer corner. And I'm taking this shade Spank and then I'm going to blend everything together. I'm also going to take the shade Bear and then brighten up my in a corner a little bit more because I think when I applied the foundation then uh, kind of disappeared so okay, so we're done with the eyes and I'm gonna move to the lips so I'm going to use this Morphe liquid um, liquid lipstick in the shade suspect and I'm also going to take um, I'm going to take this MAC Cosmetics eyeliner in the shade whirl I'm gonna dab my lips very very lightly with this and then I'm going to fill them in. Okay guys so this is how my face looks right now after I applied everything and I think it came out pretty nicely as you can see when I close my eyes everything is blended together at least I think it is so yeah leave me a comment down below and let me know how you liked uh, this video and all the colors I applied is something different normally what I usually wear I don't even use too much eyeshadows uh, but uh, yeah so this was my eye look and uh, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.